Fredo Santana's death has sparked much reaction throughout social media. There were many people inside and outside of Chicago expressing sadness over the SSR boss's sudden death. Even Fredo Santana's so-called ops have taken to social media to pay their respects. P. Rico paid his respects on IG Live writing, R.P. Fredo, realest op ever. FBG Duck also paid his respects. Duck wrote on Twitter, R.P. Fredo Santana ain't never heard him say nothing about Tuca or no fool shit. Out of all the years of the beef, he was a real street nigga and real recognized real. Duck also issued a message on IG. He wrote in his caption, a lot of niggas gonna be like, damn, what Duck on? What to let y'all know, I ain't even trying to be funny by posting this. But out of all the years we've been beefing, I ain't never seen or heard you say shit about Tuca. Plus, you a street nigga. Only nigga from your side could say it was 100. Everybody fuck with your little ass. I can't lie. Prayers go out to your family. I don't give a fuck about your homies. R.I.P. Fredo Santana. Fredo posted a photo of himself onto IG with the caption reading, When you working hard, no sleep, you get sleep deprived and have a light seizure. Fredo later revealed his condition to be much more serious. Fredo Santana admitted to his fans in October that drug addiction was the reasoning behind his stay in the hospital. Fredo revealed he almost died after suffering a seizure and falling to the floor where he bled from the mouth. Luckily, Gino Marley found him just in time. Gino found me on the floor shaking, bleeding out the mouth, having a seizure shit could have been the end. Fredo has told fans he was considering rehab to help end his addiction. I'm getting help, I might just go to rehab. Fredo wrote he uses drugs to repress bad memories that haunt him. I was running from my old life trying to get high, didn't want to face them demons. Fredo wanted to use his celebrity power to speak about drug addiction. Hopefully I can be the face to show people to slow down, we got our whole life ahead of us. Fuck being rock stars, getting high, I got post-traumatic stress disorder. Lil Dirk responded, get well blooder. Fredo got support from X and Tacion who visited him in the hospital. My dog X and put up on me, real nigga. <laughs> Fredo revealed he was suffering from kidney failure and liver failure in his IG caption writing. Been in here since Friday. Doctors say a nigga had kidney failure and liver failure. I'm getting back to normal. Sorry to all my fans. Turbo Bandana would not be dropping tomorrow due to my health issues. Thanks for everyone who prayed for a nigga. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Fredo Santana appeared to be holding true to his word. His healthier stance caused him to lose a lot of weight. Fredo took to IG to show off his new physique and put an emphasis on his anti-lean stance. Hope you've been staying away from that lean. Mozzie soon became the latest rapper to take an anti-lean stance. Mozzie called for his followers to kick the lean habit as well. Gangland, talking about it, the Israeli do like Hell Gang Mozzie. Uh, shout out to everybody that been tapping in as far as the nigga slime addiction, sending positive vibes and all the gangster shit. Uh, we legitimate, nigga on my mama, nigga's been like 10, 12 days or some shit, I don't know, but nigga's been hard to kick that shit, I ain't gonna lie. We still bricked up, though I had a couple bricks in the closet. You hear me? Any young nigga doing that shit, bro, you understand me? This should influence you to stop. If it don't, nigga, on the big nigga, drink a lot of water at the minimum. You hear me? Gangland, hell gang mozzie, nigga. Fuck that cup. They say health is wealth. I need my bag. Fredo Santana co-signed Mozzie's stance against lean. Fredo wrote in Mozzie's comment section, I'm almost 60 days clean, bro. Fuck that lean shit. Us at College Kid would like to send our condolences to the family and friends of Fredo Santana. I hope everyone suffering from drug addiction can take the necessary steps to getting clean and fulfilling the vision that Fredo had for anyone suffering from addiction. If you would like to check out more in the story, be sure to click the link in the bio for the full article and also follow College Kid on IG for updates in the story. Rest up, young legend.